Hello everyone! I'm Teacher Jen and this is my first video lesson for this year. So hayaan nyo munang batiin ko kayo ng isang masaya at manigong bagong taon. In this video lesson, we're going to talk about Quarter 2, Module 1, which is about earthquakes and faults. And the most essential learning competency is using models or illustrations explain how movements along faults generate earthquakes. Ang lindol ay pangkaraniwan ng pangyayari sa Pilipinas simply because the Philippines is on the so-called Pacific Ring of Fire, an arc of fault lines circling the Pacific Basin which are prone to frequent large earthquakes and also volcanic eruptions. So, ano nga ba ang earthquake? Nagkakasiyahan pa ang mga taga-tanwalang Davao del Sur sa pista kahapon. Pero ang tawanan, napalitan ng takot. Presidente, hindi malaman ang gagawin. Napaupo ang ilan at niyakap ang kanila mga kasama. Ang earthquake ay ang paggalaw o paghinig ng lupa o ang tinatawag nating vibration of the earth due to the rapid release of energy from the inside of the earth. This rapid release of energy happens when rocks along fault suddenly moves, either by slipping past each other or by snapping. At ano naman yung fault? A fault is a fracture or zone of fractures between two blocks of rock. Or, we could simply say that a fault is a break or crack in the Earth's crust, and along the break, significant movement has taken place. At yun na nga yung pag-slip or pag-snap ng rocks dahil sa bigla ang pagre-release ng energy from the inside of the Earth. Ang mundo ay hindi tulad ng isang sulidong billiard ball. Dahil ang totoo, Puno ito ng bitak at butas, and it looks like puzzles. Ang mga bitak na ito ay ang malalaking fault sa mundo na siyang nilalabasan ng energy from the inside of the earth at nagkakos ng earthquake. At ang mga piraso na mukhang puzzle ay tinatawag na tectonic plates. How do faults produce quakes? Energy from the earth's interior makes the ground move. Look at this simple activity wherein the two blocks represents the rocks and the tape represents the friction. At first, friction holds the rocks together, but once the friction is overcome, the ground will suddenly move, either by snapping or slipping past each other, and boom, the earthquake will occur. There are different types of faults, or the what we called faulting, but first, let me show you its different parts. Again, the two blocks represents the rocks. Fault line is the trace of the fault on the surface of the earth. Fault plane is the plot surface between the two pieces. This is where the fault movement happens. Hanging wall is the block of rock above the inclined fault, while foot wall is the block of rock that occurs below the inclined fault. Focus is the origin of earthquake, or where the fault begins to slip, or where the first movement happens. It is also called hypocenter. And the spot directly above the focus on the surface of the earth is called epicenter. This time, let's talk about the different types of faults. The first type is called normal fault, wherein the hanging wall drops down. This happens due to the tensional or extensional stress wherein the two blocks of rocks are pulling away each other. The second type is called reverse fault. Here, the hanging wall moves up. This happens when the blocks of rocks are pushing towards each other, or the what we call compressional stress. Strike slip fault. Here, the blocks of rocks move sideways. This is due to shear stress. And last, we have the oblique fault which is the combination of the normal and strike-slip movement. This is due to the tensional and shear stress. Now, using ball pen and a piece of paper, answer the following questions. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.